Is Florida State going to be a part of the Big Ten someday? We saw the August 15th deadline come and pass without Florida State giving official notice to the ACC that they would be headed out of the league by the 2024 season. We got some great reporting from ESPN to clue us in on what might be happening with the Seminoles and the Big Ten, plus the rest of the ACC expansion picture. Welcome into the channel. I am John Kurtz here on this channel. You'll get conference realignment, college football, college basketball content all the time. I am live twice a week, Wednesday and Sunday. Give you other content like this. All from a Big 12 perspective, please consider subscribing if you have not and be a part of this awesome, awesome community. Today we're talking mainly Florida State and the ACC. Florida State has been desperately trying to get out of the ACC, despite the fact that they would be staring in the face $120 million in exit fees, plus whatever it would cost to get out of the grant of rights, which may be an astronomical figure. Florida State has been desperate enough to work with J.P. Morgan to try and figure out a way to do all of this through private equity. But yet the Seminoles sit here still in the ACC for now. Well, the league moles expansion with candidates like Stanford, Cal, and SMU. Let's get you all the info you need to know from ESPN on this piece for right now. Okay. Uh, behind the scenes, we're going to start when the Big 12 goes into expansion mode by adding Colorado. This ESPN article says, behind the scenes, the ACC was already having conversations about trying to add Cal, Stanford, Oregon, and Washington, discussions that have been taking place for well over a year. So at the time that Colorado was going to the Big 12, the ACC just resumes discussions that they had already been having about adding Oregon and Washington plus Cal and Stanford. Now, at this point, Oregon and Washington obviously are much more into the idea of the Big 10, but it doesn't mean the ACC wasn't at least having some of those discussions. Uh, in fact, Duke President Vincent Price reached out to Washington President Anna Marie Koss last year to gauge interest in a partnership. Washington did decline, according to a source with knowledge of the discussion. So at one point, there had been reports, if you think back to the Pac-12 propaganda machines reporting, there had been reports of talk between the two leagues about some sort of a partnership, maybe an alliance, if you will, uh, but never actually came to pass. And it sounds like Washington is a part of the reason why, if we believe this reporting. Here is actually uh, maybe the biggest part. And I, I chuckle because to me, it is a little bit funny with how brash Florida State has been, how much bravado they've shown about what they think their brand value is, their TV value and all of that. The Big Ten had been floated for a while as the potential destination there for Florida State with this pitch. That, that would be the Big Ten getting into the state of Florida. The SEC already has Florida with the Gators. Maybe the Big Ten makes the most sense there, and that could be the landing spot for Florida State when uh, we kind of look around, like, are we sure Florida State has a place to go if they leave? Here's a, a bombshell of reporting. It says, a source with knowledge of the discussions said that the Big Ten did not have serious conversations about adding Florida State, and its top priority remains Notre Dame. Yeah, no matter what Florida State wants to say about it or try to do about it, Notre Dame would certainly be ahead of them in the pecking order. Uh, but to say the Big Ten did not have serious discussions about Florida State definitely puts some water on what some of the hot rumors were there for a while. Uh, it, it does seem like Florida State and all of this just went totally rogue and they don't necessarily have a place to go. We've also seen bad news for Florida State. There have been multiple reports in the last couple of weeks that the SEC doesn't really have interest right now in Greg Sankey publicly has made it seem like they don't have any interest in expanding any further. In fact, he's painting his league as the good guys that are not out there to kill conferences. So right now, it doesn't appear that Florida State really has a place to jump. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but that seems to be the scenario as of right now. More from the article, uh, among athletic directors, the initial conversations around Cal and Stanford did not yield much, but further discussion changed minds. Uh, multiple administrators in favor of the move described it this way longer term security in the event schools such as Florida State leave the conference. And there does seem to be a view out there, right, that's expand or die, um, add some stability by expanding. I can understand how people would arrive at that conclusion. Uh, I'm not sure, though, that it really works here with the ACC. Uh, back to the article, if the ACC added Cal and Stanford, the new schools would also have to sign the grant of rights until 2036. The current ACC contract is the longest running among all power conferences and adding more schools would help with stability. One administrator put it this way. If I was the commissioner, I would be doing the exact same thing he is doing, looking to add schools. Here's the SMU piece. SMU entered the conversation as a way to help financially. Bringing in the state of Texas has appeal not only from a TV household perspective, but from a geographical standpoint. 
Unlike with Pac-12 schools, though, there's no rush on SMU because, as multiple administrators have said, it can be added at any time. SMU has been lobbying for a Power 5 invite and hosted Pac-12 Commissioner George Klievkob in February. Pretty true. I mean, SMU is going to take that invite whenever it is that they can get it. They seem to sense the desperation of the moment right now, feeling like this is their one last chance uh, to get into a power conference. Back into the ESPN article, so the discussion last week started to take shape around Cal and Stanford. As more ADs moved in that direction, the university presidents seemed to be coalescing around a yes vote. Notre Dame was indeed leading the charge, and this is me rolling my eyes. Uh, Notre Dame was indeed leading the charge, although the Irish do not play football in the ACC. All their other sports, minus hockey in the Big Ten, do, and therefore get a full vote when it comes to expansion. The ACC requires 12 out of 15 yes votes to expand, and the decision to add Cal and Stanford would be made by the presidents. Not only did the Irish like the idea of bringing in two elite academic schools with stellar Olympic sports programs, one source noted there was also a football perspective to all of this. There is a fear among college administrators that if Stanford gets left out of a Power 5 conference, it would drop football to a non-FBS level. That would affect the long-standing Notre Dame-Stanford football series, which has been played every year since 1988. Well, Notre Dame clearly wants to have their cake and eat it too here, right? They're not going to join the ACC as a full-fledged football member, but they are going to throw their weight around with an unpopular take with the most disgruntled ACC members and say, hey, let's go add Stanford because Notre Dame doesn't want to lose that series if they were to drop football or go down to FCS. Look, Notre Dame has the leverage. I mean, I'll be honest, they, they can have their cake and eat it too because they're Notre Dame and they're never going to join the ACC full-time to play football. They do kind of have them over a barrel a little bit there. So I, I understand why Notre Dame would make that play, but it's eye roll for me with the elitism going on. Notre Dame and Stanford. Oh, think of Stanford. We've got to help out Stanford. At least now we know there are some more selfish motivations at play there for Notre Dame too. Now, NC State was one of the no votes in expansion. Okay, so the article does address why would NC State care about expansion and care to vote no. It says... The dynamics in the state of North Carolina provide a fascinating window into the North Carolina-NC State relationship. North Carolina is one of the most attractive schools in the country to both the SEC and Big Ten, should those conferences decide to expand further. NC State holds power within the University of North Carolina system and the state legislature. Siding with North Carolina essentially signals the Wolfpack believe their future is tied with UNC. So North Carolina is just trying to attach themselves at the hip, North Carolina State rather, to North Carolina. That's basically your answer there. They're going to do what UNC wants to do. Uh, so in the end, there was not enough support among the ACC presidents. Adding just to add with zero financial benefit did not make sense to the four schools. Uh, all right. So though the topic is not completely closed, expansion, we've seen this reported multiple places. Expansion, not completely dead. Discussions haven't moved forward since last week. There are no president calls currently scheduled. The clock is ticking for uh, Cal and Stanford. They, they need to get things figured out pretty quick here because – all those Pac-4 schools only have six games on their schedule as of right now for 2024. As for Florida State, we'll, we'll close off here with the Knowles. As for Florida State, the August 15th deadline to leave the league by next year might have passed, but the Seminoles are still serious about having their revenue concerns addressed. Uh, McCullough, president of Florida State, told his board of trustees two weeks ago, our goal would be to continue to stay in the ACC, but something has to change with revenue. Any school wishing to leave the conference must contend with a $120 million exit fee plus the grant of rights. Those inside the league are paying attention with no vote on expansion and the continuing specter of Florida State possibly leaving. There's at least some hope in Tallahassee that discussions about changing the TV revenue distribution might begin again, according to sources with knowledge of the situation. Florida State just trying to do whatever they can in the short term. They know what the long term plan is. You might as well try and get everybody to fork over some more money in the short term. Basically what is happening here. Uh, there is significant resistance among other ACC members for obvious reasons. Yes, I would imagine the rest of the ACC would not be real thrilled about this. Uh, few schools are willing to take less TV money based on ratings and marketability. Florida State has touted its viewership metrics, an average of 3.09 million viewers for regular season games over the last eight years, much to the chagrin of other schools. Uh, schools have privately questioned the brand and marketability data Florida State has touted, including its assertion that if conference revenues were removed, the Seminoles would rank number three in the SEC and Big Ten in revenue generated. That all does seem a little lofty to me, too. 
I'm with them. I'd be a bit skeptical about that. Look, I work in the marketing world. I know how you can try to paint the numbers in a positive way. There is a way to do that. Spin some things. At Florida State, I feel like Florida State is probably doing that here uh, to a point. If there are enough presidents worried about the Seminoles leaving, perhaps those revenue distribution conversations will change, making Florida State happy for now. Uh, I'll just end on this. I don't I don't know what will happen here with the ACC. And they're in kind of a Big 12 Texas sort of situation here, trying to make this big boy happy when knowing that they could just leave at any second and screw it all up for you anyway. I guess at the end of the day, I don't does the ACC want to go down that road if they know Florida State is just trying to get out anyway? That would be my question here. Maybe it's best for all these ACC schools to just say, screw you, get out when you're going to get out. Good luck fighting that legal battle. But it'll be very interesting to see what goes on here, what continues here, because Florida State appears to be deadly serious about getting out of that league. It is. It feels like it is going to be a bleep show one way or the other. And you know that I'm here for it, and we're here for it uh, on the channel We'll keep you up to date. Live shows Wednesday and Sunday. Please subscribe. Consider subscribing if you have not. Make sure you catch that, all the conference realignment, college football, college basketball content here. Uh, from a Big 12 perspective, you can support the channel on Venmo, john dash 4 I appreciate all of you. I will talk to you soon. Take care.